Welcome to Google Guru. Um, today I'm going to take you through a quick guide on sort of best practices for um, your Google account security settings. And, and most of this is focused on Google Plus because that's where you're going to publish most information, um, you know, with you as the author. So I'm here on my Google account page. And the way you get here is pretty much from anywhere in or, or from any Google product now. You can click on this little top right hand corner icon and go to privacy or account. Um, yeah, so we go to account and we're right here. You can edit your profile and picture, um, your email addresses and usernames, all this good stuff, your connected accounts, um, and your web history. Although this is all stuff that Google is pretty good about keeping just to you. They're actually very good at that. Um, but we'll move on to security. And uh, this is where you can change your password and you can turn on and off two-step verification, which we cover in an another video, but that basically requires a code to be sent to your phone um, when you log in. So it's not just a password. Um, authorizing applications and sites. This is a really good one to review. So I'm going to go through this real quickly. So you can see I have a number of services authorized to interact with my account. Um, and it tells you which API or product is sort of um, granting this access. So I'm just going to go down this list and make sure I recognize everything. And it looks like all this stuff is pretty familiar. Um, except for this one right here, reporter.bsn.ie. I am not sure what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and revoke access there. And that's all it takes. You just click revoke access. And go back here. And then we'll go down to profile and privacy. This here, you're kind of controlling um, how you appear to the public. Um, so here's how I'm going to appear in Google search results and you can edit um, what's visible on your public profile. Clicking that link just takes you to your Google Plus profile and you can add or remove or edit whatever you want there. Um, you can manage your circles here. And um, finally, you can edit your photo settings right here, which is pretty important. And that actually leads me to the next section, which is Google Plus specific. So um, some of this stuff is just preferences and some is really like privacy and security. Um, like who can send you notifications? Say if you were a big celebrity and you had hundreds of people mentioning you in posts every day, you wouldn't want to get notifications from anyone. You'd probably want to get notifications from your circles or your extended circles. So your circles is going to be anyone you have explicitly added to your circles, and your extended circles is anyone who is in the circles of the people in your circles. So it's kind of like your secondary network. I like to keep it on anyone because I just like to know when people are mentioning me and I'm not that big of a celebrity yet. Um, but I do change the setting here on who can start a messenger conversation with you. I don't want anyone to be able to do that. So I, I choose extended circles there. You can manage your email subscriptions and your notifications. Um, you can receive all this stuff by email or phone. Um, I do it mostly by email, but then I receive some notifications through the Google Plus Android app. And then plus one on non-Google sites. This is another important one that um, you just want to make sure. It's it's just a preference, but it's kind of a privacy thing too. If it's enabled, then your name can show up on third-party websites uh, if you've plus one them. Um, if it's disabled, your name will never show up there. So I'm okay having my name on there, um, so I leave it enabled. But that's something to make sure you have locked down. Let's see, what else? Um, okay, so here's photos, as I was touching on earlier. I don't like to show my geolocation information in, uh, in photos because if I'm uploading something from vacation, I set all this stuff to public, so I don't want someone to be able to look at my pictures and say, oh, he's out of town, I can go by his house. <laughs> um, just something to be aware of there. I don't mind if people download my photos, though, so I'd leave that checked. I don't want it to find my face in photos and, and prompt people I know to tag me. I'd rather just have control over that myself. And then finally, um, this is where you disable Google Plus if you want to do that. That's pretty much it. Um, you can see products right here. And uh, there's some other things, but the meat of everything is in profile and privacy, Google Plus, and security. So I hope that was helpful. I know there's a lot more to touch on in terms of security of your Google account, but Hopefully that was a good uh, introductory overview, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.